Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here. We're back with another video. Now in this video guys, we shall be discussing the Atlanta Falcons. Now when it comes to the Atlanta Falcons, on screen currently we have the Atlanta Falcons death chart after the offseason has happened for the draft. And we're going to take a look at each position and whether or not the Falcons need to draft that position or not. So offense position. Let's take a look at the wide receivers. So... We have Auden Tate from Cincinnati. We have Demir Bird from Chicago. We have Alameda Zacchaeus. Alameda Zacchaeus is the only... I don't really know much about these two wide receivers, but judging from this, and then we got uh, Daryl, Frank Darby, and Chad Hansen, and then Austin Tremel. we need a new number one wide receiver, so um, we're definitely going to have to draft a wide receiver when it comes to the draft, but yeah... We need a new number one wide receiver. Left tackle, we have Jake Matthews, Willie Beavers, and Elijah Wilkinson. Left tackle, we're fine. Left guard, Jalen Mayfield, Rashad Coward, and Ryan Newzeal. I don't think we need to draft the left guard because, if anything, we need to draft the safety, uh, sorry, a center, because we could, if, if Jalen Mayfield doesn't play that very well on the left guard position, we could probably kick Matt Hennessy out to left guard. And he can play there. Chris Lynchum, we don't need to draft the right guard. We don't we don't need we don't need to draft the guard. And then right tackle. Right tackle is the only one I'm actually saying yes that we need to draft because I don't like Caleb McGarry and I don't like the way he plays. So I'm just saying then we got Jermaine Effetti from Chicago and Le and Rick Leonard from Minnesota. So yeah, right tackle is a position that we need to draft. Tight end. Kyle Pitts is our number one tight end for the for foreseeable future. Um, Par Parker Hesse. I forgot. How, I don't need to hold this guy. It's Daniel Hem, John Rain, and Ryan Becker. I think we need to draft a second tight end in the draft. So that's the reason why um, I went with the tight end in my mock draft. Quarterback, Marcus Mariota, Felipe Franks. Um, I... Don't say we need. We obviously need a quarterback. The Falcons. I'm not even. I'm not going to come out in here and say the Falcons don't need a quarterback because they do. But next year's draft will be probably better for the Falcons, considering uh, the amount of people that are in the draft and the amount of quarterbacks that are going to be going. Running back. I don't really say we need to draft running back because we got five on there, but. Cordell Patterson, we signed for two years. Mike Davis is here for another year. Damian Williams, we signed on a one-year deal. And then Quadri Olsen and Caleb Hundley were already here with the Falcons. I think we brought back Quadri Olsen. So that fullback, we don't really need to worry about fullback because I think Keith Smith is a very good, decent fullback. Now to the defense. Defensive line. We, we besides Greedy Jared, we actually got some young defensive linemen here because... Gray Jared, I play at tackle. Marlon Davidson, maybe we can play on the edge. And then Take One Graham can play on the edge. But we definitely need an edge rusher to go alongside Grady Jared if we end up playing Gray Jared on defensive end position. Because these guys, John Kaminsky has potential, Anthony Rush, and then Nick Thurman, I don't really know about. Um, moving on to linebackers Lorenzo Carter, Deion Jones, Rashawn Evans, um, a rookie from last year. This right here needs to be a position that we address in the draft because we cannot have a guy, uh, a guy that's a second year guy come out and start because I would want, well, I mean, I guess it's better than the rookie, but we can probably put uh, Michael Walker, number three outside linebacker, and then we would have Lorenzo Carter, Deion Jones, Rashawn Evans, and then Michael Walker, but I'm not really sure what the Falcons are going to do when it comes to the defense. Um, cornerback, we have A.J. Terrell, Darren Hall, Art Corner Armstrong, D. Alford. A.J. Terrell, left outside, left cornerback is perfectly fine. Eric Harris and Marlo Dean, perfectly fine with two good young guys right behind him. Jalen Hawkins, Richie, Richie Grant. Uh, right cornerback, uh, Casey Hayward, Mike Ford. So, Casey Hayward is definitely a good quarterback. And Isaiah Oliver. Now, Isaiah Oliver, if he can stay healthy then we don't need to draft the cornerback. But if he can't stay healthy, we definitely knew need, we definitely do need to draft a quarterback. Um, 
Yeah, so looking at the defense, we definitely need defensive line. We need a linebacker, and we need a cornerback. All right. So, yeah. What the hell? So, yeah, we definitely need all these positions. Defensive line, cornerback, linebacker. We definitely need a tackle. We need a backup tight end. And we need a new number. We need a new wide receiver. Special teams. I mean, not really that much. We re-signed the only coup, and yeah, and I guess these are yeah. These are all the people that we haven't re-signed or we're not probably going to re-sign. Jaden Graham is debatable. I think we could actually probably bring him back as a tight end because I actually like him as a young. Uh, tight end Josh Rosen we could probably bring back just to be a backup or either him or AJ McCarron so when it comes to that but in terms of looking at the whole like offense for the Atlanta Falcons um, like I said wide receiver we got what we got I think we got about like eight eight draft picks let me search up uh, let me go to mock draft mock draft database and see how many picks we got Because I'm not sure how much picks we have. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a draft. I'm just seeing how many picks we have. So the Falcons. Seven rounds. Start. And we're going to pause. So we have. We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine picks in the whole of the NFL draft. So we can definitely do this. Wide receiver, one pick. Tackle, two picks. A backup tight end is a third pick. Defensive lineman or edge is a fourth pick. Linebacker, fifth. Cornerback, and then we would have three picks left to address anything else after that. We can go we can go center, so that's the seventh pick. If we really need to, we can go running back and that would be the eighth pick. And then the ninth pick is gonna be kind of able. I'd probably say we can go for a safety, but the thing is, we could go for a safety, but these two safeties right here, I really I really like. I really like them as as a young safety, and I think they have potential to be the starting safeties for the, the future of the Atlanta Falcons. So yeah, I'm fine with I'm fine with. If I had to say right now, if we were to line up like this for the rest of the season, I'd probably say Grady Jarrett's fine, Marlon Davidson is fine, Taquan Graham is young, but I think he has potential. John Kaminsky also could possibly start in defensive line. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna go in the draft, and then we're gonna get an edge position linebacker. We we're fine with Deion Jones, Rashawn Evans. Um, the only problem is, I'd probably say Michael Walker could probably start if we don't draft a linebacker, but I feel like we are. AJ Terrell is gonna start. Eric Harris is gonna start. Marlo Dean. I'm not sure about Marlo Dean because I probably play I probably play Jalen Hawkins over Marlo Dean because the games that Jalen Hawkins did play in the last season. He was playing a lot better than than I think he, everybody expected him to. Casey Hayward starting. Isaiah Oliver, if he can stay healthy, he will be a good slot quarterback. And when it comes to the offense, I mean, Marcus Mario is going to start for at least the next two seasons, possibly. Cordo Patterson is going to be our number one wide receiver, uh, running back slash wide receiver. We got we got a receiving back, we got a power back, and we got a running back. We got a like a, a, loop, a running back. So we got each of the three times that we really need. If we're trying to like bulldoze in and trying to get a touchdown, we use Mike Davis. If we're trying to use like a weird, um, a weird, uh, sorry, a weird play, and we're trying to throw the ball, we got Cordell Patterson. If we're just trying to get yards, we got Damison Williams who can get there. Um, wide receiver: Auden Tate, Demir Bird, Lamade Zacchaeus. I want Zacchaeus to have a big season this season. I want Lamade Zacchaeus to go off and have a better year than he's ever had. Jake Matthews is going to be fine. Jalen Mayfields, I think, I think he'll be fine. 
Matt Hennessy will be fine. Chris Lynch will be fine. This is the only position I really worry about when the Falcons. And, of course, Kyle Pitts, second season, only had what? I don't even think he had one touchdown or he, I don't know how many touchdowns he really had, but I expect Kyle Pitts to have a decent season. So in terms of this video, guys, that is it for, about, that is it for us talking about the Falcons' uh, positions and what they need. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what do you think the Falcons need and do you agree with all the positions I think the Falcons need because we definitely need a wide receiver, we need a defensive lineman, we need a tackle, and then we need a linebacker. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later with another video. Peace.